What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna continue our series on dynamic components by creating a component with repeating objects that copy. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so if you haven't watched anything else in the series, I recommend that you go start with some of that other stuff just because there's gonna be some uh, fundamentals that we've talked about that I think uh, you're probably gonna wanna know about. But in this case, what we wanna do is I just wanna create a ladder. And so we're gonna take this ladder and we're gonna create it so that it automatically fills in rungs as we build the ladder. And so if you think about the way that a, um, that a ladder works, it's got two support pieces on either side, and then it's got repeating rungs in the middle. And so we're gonna start by modeling one of the rungs. So I'm gonna tap the R key, I'm gonna draw a little bit of a rectangle, and I'm just going to say that this is maybe gonna be four inches by three eighths of an inch. So I'm gonna type in three eighths comma four right here. I'm gonna push pull this up just a little bit. Doesn't really matter how much because we're gonna use the uh, scale function in order to set the size of this anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna right click on this object and I'm gonna call it ladder support one right here. I'm actually gonna create another one. I'm gonna call it ladder support two. I'm gonna move this over and we'll say this is gonna go over 18 inches. So it probably needs to come back by the thickness right here. I'll just create a copy um, and that ought to work fine. But then we can take this whole thing, right click, and we're just gonna call this ladder right here. And so the first thing we wanna do is we want to go into our dynamic components and our component attributes. And so notice how we've got two copies of this ladder support number one in here. And so this ladder support number one, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna set this up where if we scale this in or out like this, it's not distorting our object, right? These are always gonna be four inches long. They're always going to be um, 0.3 or 3 eighths of an inch thick. So for these ladder supports, what I wanna do is I want to make sure that I've set the length in the X direction and the length in the Y direction to be fixed on both of these, right? So I'm just gonna keep doing this right here. And so to do that, all you need to do is just click in here and just add an equals to the front side of this. So we're gonna click in here, equals like this, we'll do the same thing over here. So now what that means, whoops, is now we can scale the overall width of our ladder right here. And notice how these are not resizing. So now we're set and we've got kind of an adjustable ladder. Now, one thing that we wanna do is for the overall object, we wanna be able to access the attributes for the length, width, and height. So we just wanna add those. So we're gonna do length X. I think you can actually click on the size in order to add all of them right here. But now notice how we can access these. Now, if I scale this up, right? Like say this ladder is gonna be 10 feet. So if it's gonna be 10 feet, it's gonna be 120 inches, whoops right here. So if I type in a value of 120, that length is going to adjust right here. So now we have access to that. And we also have access to the width of our ladder. So in this case, we probably want the width of our ladder to be 18 inches. So I'm just going to type that in here like this. Well, now we need to add our rungs in here, right? So our rungs are going to be the repeating pieces that you step on. And so let's say that those are gonna be circular. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna draw a circle. It doesn't really matter where we place it because we're gonna set the placement um, with, we're gonna set the placement with our component. So what I'm gonna do in this situation is I'm gonna draw this and we can say that the radius is going to be a half inch. I think that's gonna work fine. And again, I'm just gonna give this a little bit of length. It doesn't really matter how much right now. We're gonna select it, right click on it, and we're gonna make this our rump. So I'm gonna type in rung right here. Notice how it's not showing up in this object because it's not actually in this component. So we just wanna cut it. We're gonna do a control X, double click into this component and do an edit, paste in place. So now if we click on our ladder, you can see how we have our two supports and we have our rung. And so our rung, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna set this so that it's going to be the proper length. And so remember that each one of these is three eighths of an inch thick. And so for our rung, what we wanna do is we wanna add a, I think it's an X attribute right here. So the X attribute should set, yeah, how long it is, perfect. Okay, 
So we need to do two things with this. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that this is going to be centered on this object at all times. And we also wanna make sure that it's the correct length, right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to first off add a position. And we can just add all of the positions right here. So pretty much every time on this ladder, this is always going to be centered, right? So what that means is that means if you double click into this object, you want this object to be centered on the green axis right here. And so the first thing I usually do is I usually like to go into the large tool set, add an object axis, or adjust the object axis. And I wanna set it so that it's actually in the center of this object. We're gonna say yes to update this. And so what we wanna do is from a position standpoint, we always want that object to be relative to the overall component axis. We want it to be two inches over. So in this situation, we just wanna set this to be equals two, right? So now, no matter what I do, Right, if I scale this in this direction, it's always going to place it here. Don't worry about the scaling right there for right now. So no matter what happens, that's always going to be in a two direction right here. And then we also want it to be placed over here. So the X value needs to be relative to the object axis. It needs to be 3 eighths of an inch over. So we wanna type in equals three eighths of an inch right here. Well, what that means is that means that this object is now always going to be located three eighths of an inch over right here, but we need to set the overall length to be the proper length as well. So to do that, we need to add a size attribute and the size attribute is going to be on the Y direction. And we want the overall size attribute to be the distance between this point and this point. And so what we want to do is we want to link this length to our overall length right here. But we can't just type in here and do an equals and then click on our overall length, right? Because what's going to happen, whoops, that's the wrong direction. We're going to undo that. So we can't just do an equals and then set our length X, right? Because you're gonna get an overlap. It needs to be the length X minus the thickness of the two rungs because you're starting right here. So this is going to be equals ladder length X minus our ladder support length X times two right here. So now, no matter what happens with our ladder, if we scale it in this direction like this, Notice how that's going to adjust with our ladder. So that one's now in good shape. Now, the other thing we need to do is we need to lock in the other size. So we always want our Y to be equals one inch. So now if we scale this right in this direction, it's not going to distort anymore. It'll just move with our ladder. So now we're in pretty good shape, but what we need to do is we need to set this up so that it repeats, right? So if we adjust the height of our ladder, we want this to be set where it's going to place this. And notice how this is scaling on the Z direction. So we do want to make sure that we set a size length Z equals one inch. That way you're not getting that distortion if you resize this. But now we need to set up our spacing. And so generally speaking, a ladder is probably going to have a certain setback um, from the end in either direction. So whatever that might be. So we might say in this case that it's going to have a 12 inch setback. So we always wanna start this equals 12 inches. So we can assume every time we rerun this ladder, we want it to be 12 inches from the end like this. So now because it's at 12 inches, it's always going to start our first rung 12 inches up from the end right here. Okay. And so now 
we need to start making our copies. And so there's a few different ways that you can look at this. So the way that I'm looking at this is I wanna create a copy that is going to start from 12 inches up and I wanna create additional copies that go until we're 12 inches down. And again, I have no idea on like actual ladder spacing. Um, but if I use this constraint, then what I need to be able to do is I need to be able to type in a number of copies and then I need this to automatically calculate the spacing. So what we can do is we need to create a number of copies. So to do that, we're gonna click in here, we're gonna add a copies function. So what the copies function is going to do is it's going to allow us to calculate a number of copies which we can then place in here. And so what I wanna do for my copies is I need to also calculate spacing. And so to calculate spacing, I'm going to add an attribute. And in this case, it's just a custom attribute. So we're gonna type in spacing right here. And so again, there's two ways that you can look at this. In my case, what I wanna do is type in a number of copies and have it auto calculate the spacing. So for right now, we're just gonna type in a value of 10. So we're gonna assume there's gonna be 10 rungs in here like this. Well, now we need to calculate the spacing. And so the spacing, first of all, remember that I'm doing a 12 inch setback in either direction, right? So I have an overall ladder length of, let's just type in a value of 144 inches just to make our math simple. We'll go ahead and delete this out. We don't really need this. And so what we wanna do for our rungs is we wanna calculate our spacing. And we wanna calculate our spacing based on the overall length. So we're gonna go up here, we're gonna click on overall length. Then we're gonna type in minus 24 inches right here. And I need to add some parentheses in there. So ladder length Z minus 24 inches. That's the overall length from this point to this point right here. So that gets our that gets us our overall length. And then we need to divide it by our number of copies right here, right? So now this is calculated out our copies, which we've got a round number in here. So that makes a ton of sense. Um, so right now we've got our spacing. It's gonna be every 12 inches. So now, we need to set this because if you look at this, what this has done is this has created a bunch of copies inside of this dynamic component right here, um, but they're all in the same location. And so what we need to do is we need to dynamically adjust those rungs. So to do that, we wanna set our Z position, but in this case, we wanna type in equals copy. So it's the word copy, it's a function. Right, so when you use the word copy, it's referencing the number of copies. And then we wanna type in times space. So copy one is going to be placed at 12 inches. Copy two is going to be placed at equals 12 inches times two. Um, and so what that does is that comes in here and that calculates our overall number of copies like this. Now, we're a little bit short, and we're a little bit short because we didn't set this to go up 12 inches before it places our copies, right? So for our position on our Z value, we need to type in equals 12 inches plus our copy and our spacing, like this. So now what that's doing is that's coming in here and it's basically creating 10 rungs. Now, if I was to scale this, Notice how those rungs are gonna get closer together like this, but we've basically dictated to it like, hey, you're gonna create 10 copies no matter what. But if you had a short ladder like this one, you might end up typing a lower number of copies in here. So we could type in a value of, whoops, 105 is a lot, maybe a value of five right here. And you can see what the spacing is doing like this. So leave a comment below. Let me know if this was helpful to you, if you have a better way of doing this. I mean, if you open up some of the flex tools components, they get really complex. So um, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below if you found this helpful, if you played with this. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.